Assalamualaikum and good day. Okay, this is the part 2 for definition of derivative. We have another 3 examples to go. Okay, and then the third example here is continuing from the previous video. Okay, using the first principle of differentiation, find f prime x for fx equal to 2x divided by x plus 6. This one is a rational function. Okay, as you can see here, the hint is first principle of differentiation. That means you need to use this formula then. Okay, limit h approaches 0 fx plus h minus fx over h to find f prime x. Okay, so now, okay, the first thing that I remind you to do is to write fx plus h. Okay, so substitute x plus h in x, we have 2 times x plus h divided by x plus h plus 6. So this one we just need to expand. And we have 2x plus 2h divided by x plus h plus 6. Okay, then continue to determine the f prime x. So, remember, please write this first, f prime x. I really dislike people keep writing equal to equal to without mentioning what are you trying to find. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is f, uh, to write f prime x. Sorry, not the first thing. The next thing that you need to do is write f prime x. And then it is equal to this formula. Okay, just rewrite the, the formula. Okay. And then, limit h approaches 0. Open the bracket. This is your fx plus h. This one. Okay. Rewrite it. 2x plus 2h divided by x plus h plus 6 minus fx which is 2x over x plus 6. And here, instead of divide by h, I write it as times 1 over h. Because if not, we will have this kind of situation here. a minus b over c over d. Okay, this one divide by h. Okay, that's quite uh, not really nice that. Okay, just write it this way to make it simpler and understandable. Okay, and approachable. Okay, so next, uh, since this is a rational function, okay, a combination of two rational functions here, okay, we need to equal the denominator to standard the denominator in order to solve these equations, okay? So, we multiply x plus 6 with 2x plus 2h minus the 2x multiply with x plus h plus 6, okay? So, here it will be limit h approaches 0, this one, okay, rewrite, okay? Multiply, okay? And this is x plus h plus 6 in bracket, okay? Remember, it should be written in bracket, times x plus 6 times h because if we... If we want to, if I would like to explain from these terms, it will be actually A times D minus CB divided by B times D times 1 over H, right? So, it can also be written as AD minus BC divided by BD H here. Okay, that means we can bring H to this side. Okay, and then next I expand the numerator. Okay, multiply like this, 2x plus x, 2x squared, 2x plus 6, 12x, 2h times x is 2hx, 2h times 6 is 12h, and minus, minus 2x times x, minus 2x squared, minus 2x times h, minus 2xh, minus 2x times 6 is minus 12x. Okay, cancel the same term, that means simplify actually, 2x squared with negative 2x squared, gone, 12x minus 12x is gone. 2hx minus 2hx is also 1. Okay, 2hx and 2sh are the same. Okay, is as example 2sy equal to 2yx. Okay, so here we only have limit h approaches 0, 12h over x plus h plus 6 times x plus 6 times h. Simplify and then you just need to substitute the value of 0 in h. Therefore, we have this as the final answer. 12 over x plus 6 squared. Okay. Uh, I just want to remind you that you don't have to expand the denominator. There is no need to define the denominator. Okay, because uh, we just want to simplify the numerator. It will be redundant, redundant uh, work. So, in, in our solution, if you expand the denominator, because later on, you just need to factorize it again. So, it's just useless there. Okay? So, just expand the numerator. Okay. 
Next example here, we have the fourth example. Okay, find f prime x for f x equal to four divided by one minus three x plus nine by using the definition of differentiation. Okay, the solution will be. Remember, I ask you over and over again to write your f x plus h first. Okay, so it will be four over one minus three x minus three h plus nine. The re the reason behind it because this one is actually 4 divided by 1 minus 3, sorry, x plus h plus 9. Okay, so as fine, it will be this one. Okay, and then write f prime x equal to this formula. Okay, substitute. Since uh, these are a combination of two type of function, okay, which is the first one is rational function and the next one is the is a constant which is a polynomial the connector is plus here plus that's why as you can see here i uh, solve it separately okay the rational function is in this part and then since the connector is plus so here it should be plus okay and then for the constant we solve it separately okay so right now it will be limit h approaches zero open the bracket 4 over 1 minus 3x minus 3h minus 4 over 1 minus 3x times 1 over h. Okay. And then plus limit h approaches 0, 9 minus 9. Why 9 minus 9? Because in fx plus h, we only have 9 here. And it, it is the same for fx. Okay. fx is also 9. Constant, the same constant. Okay. So 9 minus 9 is equal to? 0. So, 0 over anything should be equal to 0. Okay, this is way before we substitute the value of h. Okay, so this one is equal to 0 then. Okay, because 9 minus 9 is 0. Constant minus the same constant is equal to 0 then. Okay, next, solve this part. We have limit h approaches 0. Uh, the same as earlier, we need to equal the denominator. Okay, to have the same denominator, so we multiply 4 with 1 minus 3x minus 4 times 1 minus 3x minus 3h. Okay, and the denominator should be written in bracket for all the factors and multiply with h here. Okay, this h. Okay, next. Uh, for this one, it should be plus 0, right, plus 0 first. Okay, before we, we move on to, to the next step. Okay, and then here. We have uh, to expand 4 minus 12x, as you can see, minus 4, minus 4 minus 3x, plus 12x, minus 4 times minus 3h is positive 12h. So, this one is in bracket. Okay, remember, you do not have to expand the denominator. Okay, and then 4 minus 0, sorry, 4 minus 4 is gone, 12, negative 12x plus 12x is also gone. And we are left with limit h approaches 0. 12h divided by, in bracket, 1 minus 3x minus 3h times 1 minus 3x times h. Okay. Uh, next, you just need to substitute the value of h equal to 0 in the functions. And therefore, the final answer is 12 over 1 minus 3x squared. Okay. Hopefully, you understand how I obtain this final answer. Okay. We may look over again later on. Okay, the last example. Okay, for this one, we have two types of function, a combination of linear and radical. Okay, as you can see here, we just need to expand it separately for fx plus h. This is the part for the linear and this is the part for the radical. Okay, and the connector that we have here, the operator is minus. Okay, uh, just leave it as minus there. So that the connector here will be minus again. Okay, for this one, we need to solve those two types of functions separately. Okay, for linear, uh, we solve it the linear way. Okay, okay, in a linear way. And for radical, we need to multiply with the conjugate and then cancel the common factor. So, we solve it separately. Okay, for the first term, okay, we have f prime x equal to limit h approaches 0 for the linear part. Okay, what is fx plus h? Ax plus 8h, okay, minus fx, okay, this is fx plus h, okay, this one, minus the fx, okay, fx plus h is 8, 
sorry, 8x plus 8h minus 8x, the fx divided by h, okay. Uh, and then here, minus, because the, oper the operator is minus, okay, here, negative. So, limit h approaches 0. This one is the fx plus h, which is root 2x plus 2h plus 1 here. Minus is fx, which is root of 2x plus 1 divided by h. Okay, so for radical, you need to multiply with its conjugate. So remember, since this is ne negative, it should be plus here. Okay, and then it's easier for us to solve the first term and then we move on to the second term. Okay, we just need to solve the first one first. We have limit h approaches 0, 8h or divided by h because 8x minus 8x equal to 0. Simplify and hence we have only 8 and nothing to substitute the value of 0. So therefore here we only remain as 8, the number 8. Sorry. So right now, minus, okay we solve the second term. Limit h approaches 0. Okay, expand. Expand we have 2x plus 2h plus 1 minus, remember, write everything uh, after the negative sign in bracket. So negative 2x plus 1, negative in bracket 2x plus 1. And here in the denominator, just rewrite the, uh, this term in bracket. Remember, compulsory to write them here in bracket. Okay, compulsory to write them in bracket. Okay, and here, after simplifying this one, okay, 2x minus 2x, 1 minus 1, we only left with 2h. Okay, cancel the common factor, h. And then only substitute the value of h equal to 0 because h approaches 0 here. Okay, root 2x plus 0 plus 1 plus root of 2x plus 1 in the denominator. And for this value of 8, just rewrite them. Rewrite it, okay? Nothing changed there, here, okay? So, 8 minus 2 over 2, root of 2x plus 1. This one can be simplified, equal to 1. And hence, we have this as our final answer then. Okay, and uh, hopefully you understand how to solve all types of questions involving the first principle of differentiation, definition of differentiation, both are using the same method, which is you need to use this formula. Okay, f prime x equal to limit h approaches 0, fx plus h minus fx divided by h. Okay, everyone. Thank you. Have a nice day. Assalamualaikum.